afternoon, or good evening. Um, I was really thrilled to hear the, uh, the mayor give his comments about the um, re-looking at some of the roads to be resurfaced um, in light of the uh, complete streets policy that you all passed about two years ago. Um, I do want to thank the council and the city over the past two years for uh, one, putting in the yield signs for the pedestrians. That's really a really good step for pedestrians, uh, especially in the downtown area. And also the striping on <coughs> Fells and Morphe and trying that out for the cyclists. I think they were really happy to at least have some identified path that they could be on uh, and motorists would know it too. And now I see that you all have a list that you're going to consider this evening for resurfacing. And, you know, downtown Fairhope um, has been walkable for many years, uh, almost since its dis early design. But with the streets that you have now on this list, resurfacing usually only occurs every 10 years. And so now you have an opportunity to resurface roads in the city of Fairhope and really give strong consideration to the tourists and citizens uh, that use the streets in Fairhope. Um, it would be great to offer them the opportunity to walk and bike. And it's been shown, studies have shown that if you increase biking and walking, that it increases your uh, economic uh, stability in the cities. Businesses really see an increase in, um, <coughs> in buyers and people walking are more likely to go in the stores than people that are riding in cars. Um, the old saying that it takes money to make money really applies also to transportation economics too. And so I would ask that you all consider ecotourism as an investment. And it is the kind of thing that um, can bring in a lot of money. And if you facilitate biking and walking in your city, that's a huge ecotourism draw. Um, you know, you, you have the Bird Fest, and that brings a lot of people into the city of Fairhope. So I guess what I'm asking is that you think long term. This is a 10-year decision you're making. And you know, if you can delay uh, some of the streets like Magnolia and possibly, um, well, Magnolia is the one that pops into my mind uh, because it has the widest width. But to really look at it in light of a 10-year uh, decision. And Smart Coast would like to offer the opportunity to work with the, the staff and um, for the next round of resurfacing that might come up uh, to help maybe do a citizen survey to see how citizens uh, feel about certain smart, I mean, um, complete streets features. Um, and we can do it through the city's website. So we'd like to offer that uh, to the city. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. One, one, can I make one comment? Um, statewide, we're looking at Trail Town. It's a new designation that's going on across the country. And so um, I'm hoping that when that criteria comes up, especially with the Eastern Shore Trail coming through Fairhope, it would be a great incentive to have some bike trails or bike lanes because when people come in looking at the Eastern Shore Trail and there's nothing but a sidewalk, they sit there and go, this, this isn't a trail. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then looking at the Trail Town designation, it would be really great. So I'm hoping staff can work with you. Thanks. <coughs> Agenda item number seven is the recommendation by